Okay. So, when we were starting this room, uh, Leandra, Leandra was pretty, she wanted it to have kind of a glam element. It turned out a little bit more like grunge glam. Which, Which think, is like very fitting for my personal aesthetic. So yeah. Uh, so we decided pretty early on to lean quite neutral with the sort of black, white, yeah. gray, um, and then have our accent be the copper. Yeah, to kind of lean into our. Because um, by the time we did this room, we did know we wanted to develop this this channel and our and and to have copper pair for you guys. So, so yeah. we we wanted that to kind of be the the accent to this room. Also kind of a fun thing to make note of in this is that n almost none of this was bought new. Which meant there was a lot of painting, which is very boring to film and watch, so here's just some check-ins instead. Okay, so it's well into the evening, and I've only just realized today that this paint actually takes 12 hours to between coats and 10 days to cure, so I'm trying to get as much of this furniture painted at least the first coat as I possibly can so it's me in my garage with my space heater trying to get a first coat done on all of these pieces okay so we finally have a third coat on all of these pieces and now we just have to let them sit so here is the first coat on that teal bookcase as you can see, it looks really, really awful. I'm starting to feel a tiny bit concerned about how many coats it's gonna take to cover this blue paint. Here is second coat. It is looking a lot better. <laughs> it definitely needs a third coat still. But I'm starting to feel hopeful that it's actually gonna look the way that I wanted it to. Okay, so here it is, third coat. I don't want to get carried away, but I'm like cautiously optimistic that it's not gonna need a fourth coat, so yay! We're in the makeup room. Yes. As was. Now, yeah. Yeah. hopefully, Copper Pair headquarters. Slash makeup room. Slash makeup room. Our beauty room. It's a weird shape. Kind of, because it's got this weird little jutting out thing. It's not that weird. But my problem was, is, or continues to be, I guess, is to have enough surfaces for us to do all the things that we need to do. Mm -hmm. I need an arting space. Yeah. We need a makeup space. Yeah. We need a meeting space. And I tried several layouts. So there were some that we didn't actually even finish, like this one where we hadn't decided even where the makeup stuff was going to go before we realized, mm, not for us. So it was a big ol' no from us and we just discarded this one pretty much straight away. Um, and then we did try a couple of different layouts with the big circular tables still in that room. Uh, so with the table and chairs in there, we gave it a couple of different goes. Um, weren't really feeling it for a couple of reasons, so. What we have to do is do our final decision at this point, I think. Do we, because I have to get it done. If we're gonna bring the table back in here, it has to get done. I don't, I don't think we should. I feel like that could make this room look really cluttered. And like, I know in your designs, like it, like it doesn't, but like it would still feel different when it's actually in here. Of course it would. The only thing that I think that realistically we could do and bring the table in is to get rid of one of the couches. So if we went with one of these plans where there's only one of the sofas. But I like there being two, it's so cozy. It could be brought back in. That's a lot of work though, because you have to sand it all down and repaint, and repaint it to match the rest of the stuff. Yeah, because we, we really decided to go pretty glam for this room. Glam or us. Well, more glam than it was anyways. So after some debate, we decided on this design, which had the sofas and the table by the window, the makeup desk on the opposite wall, along with the bookshelf, the three chairs that mom had obviously already painted, scattered throughout the room, so some with the couches, some at the makeup table, then a light next to the one sofa, and my little hopeful addition of a plant, which didn't actually end up happening, RIP. So ultimately that means that what we're doing is making the decision that... No, no round table. Go no back. round table. 
So I'm on the hunt for cushion covers. Who knew that was gonna be the hardest job that I had to do? We're now at like our fourth store trying to look for cushions. So hopefully we'll find something. I made a miscalculate, a small but vital <laughs> miscalculation in measuring for this room. So the bookshelf was supposed to go against that far wall yeah. facing this way, yeah. but the door swings open a little bit too far for them to sit next to each other. So we're trying to figure out what to do with this weird space in the corner. <laughs> I had a fantastic idea where we get like faux, like ivy vines, right? mount them from the ceilings so that they're coming down and then get a little Polaroid printer and like stick little cute Polaroids in the thing. Well, there's two problems with that. Only two? I'm doing all right then. There is at least two. Good looking faux vines are costly. The other problem, which possibly is the biggest of all of these problems, is we don't have a Polaroid printer. Our solution ended up being adding some art and hoping for the best. Uh, this was made with stencils and spray paint, so if you're interested in how we did that, let us know, we might do a DIY video. So the window privacy was obviously a big thing. This is ground floor. Yeah. Um, before we redid this room, I also used it occasionally for like filming, um, when I was taking pictures of like makeup and stuff I was doing. Yeah. And I really hated how all the like delivery people and neighbors <laughs> could just see me when I was yeah. in the window. We, so that was definitely yeah. a priority in here. Yeah, I felt like if we were gonna use it as a, like a meeting area, it had to have that privacy feel to it. Definitely. <laughs> Was Prior to the makeover, this room was quite underutilized. Yes, totally. Uh, the space in it wasn't utilized. As you could tell from the before clips, it was like this little section uh, where we're sitting now was where the makeup table, table was, was and the mirror yeah. and stuff. But the rest of the space was well, empty. And <laughs> if, if we're going to be totally honest, um, for a long time it wasn't even that. The, putting the makeup room in here was only in the last couple of years when we finally decided we needed to do something. The space was really largely ignored up yeah, until this and point. and then Mom and I both actually became certified makeup artists, what, two, three years, years ago? ago? So we decided to create a little bit of a studio um, yeah. space. But even then, the rest of the room was... Yeah, and originally my plan really was for it to kind of be a makeup room slash office area for potentially... Um, a makeup business. A makeup business, but we... Well, life gets... Things happen and that's and not the direction. And creative endeavors changed change. a lot. So but when it, it came time to... to Thing. actually decorating the room. We wanted something totally different. And so, yeah. but I still wanted the space to be actually like functional and actually using the space. Yes, the, so. Almost the entirety of the, um, of what we have in the space were actually pulled from other areas in the house. So. Most of it actually from this room itself. Um, some of the, these sofas were the ones that were upstairs in, in the living room. So if you watch the, watch the. If you watch the living room, I can't remember what side it shows up on, but I'll link it above somewhere. <laughs> if you watch the living room makeover, you'll remember these sofas, you'll remember the, um, 
table the coffee table coffee yeah. table the desk and the chairs and the bookcase and the mirror were all from this room already yeah um actually the canvases as well the canvases um, as well were reused you can do a lot with what you already have so don't automatically assume if you're redoing a space that you're like oh i have to buy all new stuff yeah. or which like the living room we did but i mean we don't want to be wasteful and yeah both of us are quite into like sustainability and reusing things um so it's really good to found this other way of using like the sofas and stuff so that it's yeah. just cycling back into the house which is really cool as you may have noticed if you're um evil-eyed or you know just mildly observant not only are we sitting in a copper pair branded room we've also got some copper pair branded accessories so if you enjoy the channel if you want to support us uh, we'll link our Redbubble down below. We've got a couple of different designs, um, like this mug, like the t-shirts. Um, there's more to come as time goes on as well, so be sure to check it out. Yeah. Have a good day. Thanks for See watching. You. See you next time. Love you, bye.